Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, using Google Jamboard to play Battleship. Uh, in class, this could be done in person as long as the students have devices or remotely uh, as well. So I'm going to show you how I made this Jamboard. I'll also give you a link to this Jamboard as well as two other Google Drawings that I used to create this Jamboard. I, I see this working like this. The students, I will I force them to make a copy of this Google Jamboard. They have a partner and they both have initially the exact same Jamboard. And then what they're gonna do is, let's say I'm playing with you. Um, this is my Jamboard. I'm gonna grab these ships and I'm gonna move them uh, just like in traditional battleship wherever I want them. And of course, if they wanted to, they could even change their direction like this. So they've got their ships laid out on, the, on this Jamboard here. Uh, if you want to choose different ships or make them smaller, uh, you can. This isn't a huge game board, so I don't imagine the game's lasting that long. Uh, so once the students are ready, what I have them do is take shots at the, their classmates uh, board and then mark them down as hits or misses. So to do that, like, let's say I wanted to take this shot right here. Um, two with Sarah and the Predator would be Fuiste. So let's say I do that and it's a miss. I'm gonna grab one of these little sad faces and put that there because I missed. If it were an explosion instead, I would grab one of these explosions and I would stick it there. And then play would continue like that. If they hit me, I'm going to use the Rone's red X's to cover up where they hit me so that when they finally do destroy my battleship or one of my ships, then I can tell them, um, I can use this sentence up here, that's three stay me, which is you destroyed my whatever. Um, I should probably put the names of the different ships on there. No, I think about it. So that's how I'm going to play it in class uh, to make this. If you want to make your own, I'm going to give you guys access to these two Google drawings. So this one is more... Um, basic. It doesn't. Ha all it has on there is the the simple instructions. It doesn't have any of the Spanish words and stuff like that, except for the title Lucha de Barcos. But you can change that to fit your language if you want to, and then put anything else you want on there. These um, battleships are actually images that are on the Google Jamboard, so those ones don't come with this because this is being set as the background. So modify this as you see fit, along with like you know the words that go here and here. Uh, I will also give you access to this if you are a Spanish teacher and you want to use this Preterite battleship, it's ready to go. I'll put this in the description of the video as well. Uh, so again, if you've forgotten how to send your students a forced copy, which is going to be one of the first things you do, is up here in the top right, you're going to click share. I'm actually going to do this right now because I'm going to get you guys a forced copy of this. And I'm going to change this to anyone with the link is a viewer. And I'll click done. And up here at the top in the URL bar, I'm going to just cut off the very end of that URL where it says viewer and change that to copy. And then I'm going to send that link to my students. So when they, they click it and open it, it'll open up this Jamboard. You might, maybe if you think that the game is going to last very long, you could also go like this and duplicate it so that the students could play more than once, duplicate it up to 20 times, I believe. And uh, they could play as many times as they want to. If you don't want to have those extra slides, you can just delete them like that with those three little dots and delete. And that's Battleship um, and La Clase de Español. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.